I think I have come up with a theory and a way for Sly Cooper to get home in a new Sly Cooper game. Let's talk about it. What's up guys, Canadian Guy here and back with a new Sly Cooper video. Before I even start, there are spoilers ahead for Sly Cooper 4 Thieves in Time. So turn back now, unless you're okay with either getting spoiled or already know the ending. Sly Cooper 4 is a mixed bag of reactions when it comes to the fan base. Some loved it, some hated it, and some, like me, felt very, very confused in different aspects. I made a video talking about this mixed bag of feelings. You can check it out in the card in the top right corner or below. But the one thing that doesn't seem to be mixed and most people tend to agree with is that the ending was botched. Sly Cooper takes out the time traveling villain, La Paradox, and disappears into time in a flash. Bentley and Carmelita spend their days looking for Sly, wondering where he went. Where did he go? What age and timeline is he in? There is no way to tell. If you 100% the game, however, you get the secret ending, where Sly wakes up surrounded by broken and destroyed machine parts in ancient Egypt, in which Sly looks onto the pyramids and the game ends. Everyone expected and waited for a new Sly game for years, and it never came to be. No explanation of how Sly gets home, no true ending to the franchise, just a cliffhanger and overall neglect. So. I thought to myself to try and figure out a way for Sly to get home using rules that were established in the game. So Sly Cooper is here in ancient Egypt, while Bentley, Murray, and Carmelita are in the present day. How is it possible that Sly could communicate through time to Bentley in some way, shape, or form? So the first thing that I did was look into how time traveling worked in the Sly Cooper universe. The Sly Cooper franchise uses time travel pretty loosey goosey, with normal time theories and phenomenons being thrown out the window. Sly simply going back in time to even interact with any of his ancestors would completely change the course of history. This is something called the butterfly effect, where one seemingly insignificant action in time eventually turns into something much bigger into the future. And changing it or it could break and create another timeline there is so many different situations where sly or even la paradox's actions would doom the universe but like i said the game handles time travel pretty loosey-goosey so the game doesn't hold the theories very well so how does sly cooper get back to the present well, each and every time Bentley went back in time with Sly with him, they would encounter a Sly ancestor, intentionally or unintentionally. So it would seem that wherever Sly went, he would be thrown to a time and place where at least one of his ancestors lived. Since he landed in Egypt, he would have encountered Sly Tunic Common Cooper. This theory is actually confirmed by one of the heads of Sanzaru when he explained that La Paradox's episode was not planned to be the finale of the game, but for some reason was cut. Take a listen. Uh, I we we love Sly. Um, you know, I, I'll I'll tell you a tidbit of information. So, uh, the original first episode of Sly Cooper Thieves in Time was supposed to be Egypt okay. with Sly Tutankhamen. Common. Yeah. Uh, and then Egypt was going to be uh, a DLC oh. episode. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, that was always the the intention, and then yeah. you know we never got to to finish that out. Sure, um, I do have the the you know in the team at, at Sanzaro, like we have the story, we have the whole episode done, um, you know, in on paper of form. Of course, of course. Um, but we would love to come back to that world. I I, I hate leaving them there. It's yeah, the yeah, question yeah. we get the most. Sure. Um, so uh, all I can say is, you know, if if you guys want more Sly Cooper, let let Sony know. Herman um, Hall, set him up. Yeah, uh, but we're we're ready. We're always ready to dig into that. According to some, the reason why it was cut was because the final mission couldn't fit on the PS Vita. That was a smart choice, wasn't it? So we know that Sly would be encountering Tunic Common. Now this is where things begin to get interesting. Tunic Common was actually the creator of the Thievius Raccoonus and the one who started the Cooper Legacy. None of his previous ancestors had kept record of their tricks and abilities, so 
he decided to begin keeping track. The amount of story opportunity here is actually insane. Because he is the original author of the Thievus Raccoonus and was planned to meet Sly, which was confirmed by the mouth of one of the developers themselves, it's possible that Sly would greatly affect Tunic Common's life, enough to mention him in his book. Sly could meet Tunic Common, and he could likely take note of Sly's abilities and of course the fact that he could use his own patented technique, invisibility, perhaps even before Tunic Common could master it. Sly could explain how he is from the future and tells him about the Thievius Raccoonus, and teaches him some tricks that he learned to be a master thief. Tunic Common could then be inspired by both Sly and his capabilities and to begin the, you guessed it, Thievius Raccoonus. In a twist of fate, Sly's travel back in time is what actually inspires Sly Tunic Common to begin the Cooper legacy. Now remember when La Paradox had initially went back in time to Japan and the Thievius Raccoonus was floating in this machine that Bentley had made? When something was changed to it, Bentley was alerted that there was something wrong by the machine, or something different within the Thievius Raccoonus. When he went to look at the pages, he saw that Ryuichi's Cooper's teachings were fading away. The reason being is because La Paradox and his henchmen had him locked up. If he was locked up, then it would have affected his future and his capability of adding onto the Thievius Raccoonus. Because of that, the text faded away. But when they saved Ryoichi Cooper, along with everyone else who added to the Thievius Raccoonus, their writings about their techniques had returned. What this states is that events in the past can alter the present day, positively and negatively. Now let's get back to the present day. This is when the machine would suddenly start to alert Bentley again that the Thievius Raccoonus had changed. In a panic, Bentley would check the Thievius Raccoonus thinking that La Paradox was up to his schemes again, but he would see that text was not removed, but slightly altered. All that is altered is a mention of Sly Tunic Common mastering his invisibility technique from a young raccoon from a different time. This would throw a red flag to Bentley as to whom this young raccoon was. From this point on, a plot could 100% begin to reveal. However, the quest would eventually come to a point of Bentley and the gang needing to find a specific artifact from that time to be able to travel to it. Now, I have ideas out the wazoo to how this whole story could come together, how the story could continue from Sly eventually making his way back, how the origins of clockwork could be intertwined, and how Carmelita might have to give up what she loves. But those are just my subjective ideas. All I wanted to talk about is how the ball could start rolling on how Bentley could find Sly through using rules and situations that have already been established in the game. However, would you like to know how I would write Sly 5? Let me know in the comment section below. A huge thank you to all those who support the channel through Patreon and being a sponsor on the channel. If you'd like to help it out, check out the links in the description below where you can buy some CGE merch or become a Patreon. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more gaming and nostalgic content. Thank you so much everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video.